Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be having a look at a Willboom VMAX deck. Willboom VMAX is a card that recently came out in our Matchless Fighters expansion, Japan's Matchless Fighters expansion and today I thought we should take a look at how a deck surrounding Willboom would work. And before we dive right into the deck list guys, remember if you liked this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content and if you already subscribed, you're pretty awesome for doing so. So let's begin. Um, Willboom VMAX has a beefy 330 HP and has the attack GMAX Jump Solo. For 1 gas and 3 colorless energy, it does 180 damage and 40 damage to 2 of your opponent's bench pokemon so your 2 hits carrying the active while reliably setting up the bench for being 2 being KO'd in the future so i think this is pretty kind of alright and let's dive right into how a deck list would function so taking a look at the pokemon line we're playing a 3-2 line of Willaboom. We're playing the Willaboom from Rebel Clash because it has a great setup attack with the Forest Feast attack. That says you may set your deck for up to 2 basic gas Pokemon and place them onto your bench. So it kind of helps you set up turn 1 or turn 2. Helps you set up your Guki for your Willaboom during your turn or your um Wallet and Lolo and Executor whenever you need it. So yeah, um, the V has a pretty substantial attack. So moving on to our next Pokemon, as I previously mentioned, we are playing two Wallet and Lolo and Executor because it has the attack super good that says you may evolve up one of your basic gas Pokemon from a basic into a stage two. So. It just helps you to get up a stage to turn 1 or turn 2 depending on when you're going for and it also has the second attack calming hurricane that does 150 damage and heals 30 damage from itself and it has the tropical hour gx attack for 6 gas energy or 3 gas energy do 200 damage and you get to shuffle sick all of your opponent's gas all of your opponent's energy back into their deck so it kind of gives up a reliable support option and helps us to kind of set up our little boom for the game so yeah that's what i would play two of you play of one of crobat you get to draw until you have six card in your hand so that's kind of reliable you play one the Dene, you get to discard your hand and draw six cards kind of helps us with consistency. You play um one Galarian Zigzagoon, you get to drop a damage counter when you play it from your hand onto your bench. So this is just here for helping us to fix out our damage output against the bench or against active. If you're one or two damage counters off Galarian Zigzagoon kind of fits in that slot pretty well and helps us to fix out our damage output. And finally, you play a 2-2-3 two, three, two, two, three line of Willaboom. Willaboom has the fantastic ability voltage beat that says you may accelerate up to 2 gas energies from your deck to one of your Pokemon. So this just helps us to accelerate our energies to our Willaboom VMAX so we can hit with it essentially and yeah that's gonna wrap up the pokemon line let's move on to the item line for the items you play for quick ball you get to discard the card from your hand and set your deck for your basic pokemon so it's kind of helps us out with basic search and support you play to switch because really boom v max is in the middle of that H retreat cost it has a two retreat cost where you not have you do, can't use air balloon to get free retreat and you can't use buff padding to get an extra 50 hp so 
Having multiple copies of Switch is pretty essential in this deck, so we play two copies of Switch. We also wrap it up with one copy of Escape Hope because it acts as a Switch and also a, as a Ghost, so it's pretty phenomenal. And next up, we play one Ordinary Rod. You get to shuffle two Pokemon or two basic energies into your deck, or in either case, you can shuffle either or both. So, yeah, that pretty works, works pretty well for us. We play 3 scoop up nets mainly for Galarian Zigzagoon because we want to be dropping damage counters to try and fix out our damage output against multiple prize decks. So, um, scoop up nets is fairly big in this deck list, so that helps us out a bit. We play 2 telescopic sites, you get to do an extra 30 damage to best GXs and Vs. So you're doing 70 damage with your Willaboom VMAX if you have a telescopic sight attached. So it helps us to fix out our damage output and ensures that we get a reliable 2 hit KO against um, the major decks in the format. Um, next up, we play um, one with set stamp, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws a card for their main prize card so it's kind of like a combat card so if you're late in the game kind of disrupts your opponent and make sure you could make a comeback in the game so next up we play m4 pokemon communication you get to stuff swap a pokemon from your hand with a pokemon in your deck so kind of helps us out with our pokemon search and you wrap up this item line with one energy recycler you get shuffle five basic energies back into your deck so this just helps us out in case we are KO'd we could reliably just shuffle back our energies into our deck and then accelerate them back with our really boom so it's pretty phenomenal and yeah that's gonna wrap up the item line let's move on to the um supporter line for the supporters we play um for professor's research discard your hand draw seven cards pretty phenomenal in my books you play for money good players shuffle their hand into their deck you draw five your opponent just four kind of a great disruption supporter and you play two boss orders you get to drag a pokemon from your opponent's bench into the active so you can reliably kill, kill them or set up a ko with um, your Willaboom v max to strand them in the active so yeah boss orders is fairly big in this deck you play to one bed keeper um you get to switch your active pokemon to of your bench and draw three cards so it acts as our fifth switch in the deck because we want to be switching around in this deck pretty often and embed keeper does helps us out pretty much very well um and finally we play one guzman hala you get to search your deck for a special energy or two card and stadium so in this deck list we are playing um so field stadium weakness card energy and the previously mentioned telescopic site so guzman and hala is a no-brainer in this deck and helps us to search out our pcs we need for the game so let's move on to the stadium which i've already mentioned while playing so field stadium you get to search your deck for an evolved grass pokemon and put it into place into your hand so Helps us out with our Pokemon search and it's just a reliable and phenomenal stadium card for us to go with. So let's finally end up the um, list with our energy line. For our energy line, we're playing 10 basic gas energies and 2 weakness guard energies because we really don't want to be losing to Welder in our matchups and gas energy is fairly explanatory we use really boom and use voltage beating to accelerate our gas energy and yeah that's gonna wrap up the list um here's the full list on screen if you want to see it 
as I previously mentioned, we play uh, with Boom VMAX and all the pieces we need for our deck. And yeah, that was pretty much the list. So, without further ado, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.